यार ये फाउंडर्स ये जो बैटरीज हैं वो ड्रोन्स को पावर कर रही है लाइक एक्चुअली ड्रोन्स दे आर रेडी टू सर्व द आर्मी रोबोटिक डॉग्स हाउ कूल इज दैट वी आर इंजीनियरिंग बैटरीज फॉर यू नो आई वुड से लिस्टेड कंपनीज दैट आर ऑपरेटिंग Uh, drones that would carry a human, yes. so something like a 150 kg payload sort of a drone. Today we are in Bangalore, Karnataka. I mean, apart from IDC ki filter coffee, one startup which has powered me today is Hastin Energy. Welcome to Bharat Climate Startups. Yeah, these founders, these who batteries are, they are drones. They are powering them. Literally drones. One of the coolest entrepreneurs I have met, and I think you will too. We are Bharat Climate Startups. Hastin Energy. Welcome to Hastin Energy, and uh, this is our engineering space, and this is where all our engineers like kind of ideate and uh, come up with the initial prototypes digitally, and then this is our making and breaking space, I would say, and this is where we kind of put those into action into early prototypes, and uh, this is purely our R&D space, and we predominantly work in the space of uh, engineering drone and robotic batteries. We have come up with batteries for agriculture drones, cargo payload drones for military use case, and also you know batteries for uh, mapping and uh, surveillance purpose. And to show you an example, uh, this is a battery that we have engineered. Engineered for a agriculture, you know, uh, equipment, and uh, these are some of the batteries that we have uh, engineered for robotic dog sort of applications. And of course, these are uh, different batteries uh, going for the drone uh, applications. You talked about robotic dogs. Yeah. So Army is coming up with a big tender yes. uh, to replace uh, mules and porters in the hilly regions and in the hilly terrain with uh, robotic mules and uh, heavy payload drones. So. Our certified batteries is uh, already in you know in testing phase with couple of customers, and of course we are ramping up the, in terms of the scale from a robotic dog to robotic mule. They are ready to serve the army for robotic dogs. How cool is that? So apart from that, we see folks here like going through different cells, and of course all of these are at our R and D scale. Our scale manufacturing would be happening downstairs, uh, wherein the complete floor is dedicated for manufacturing, and this is for the initial prototypes and sampling units. So once we get the cells, we grade them accordingly, according to different IR ratings, and then we cycle them, and then uh, it goes into a pack like you see, that is a semi-assembled pack. After those semi-made packs, this is our uh, Bureau of Indian Standards certified pack. So now this is ready to go into drones that are about to get the DGCS type certification, which is a very key aspect, It's like getting the RTO's approval for the vehicle, and then they'll be ready for commercial flights. And of course, uh, this is our main product, I would say. And apart from that, we are connecting a lot of R&D on cell level. The cells better as to which cell is better for which application, and we are creating digital models of that. So let's say a customer approaches us with a use case that they need to operate in a you know 40-50 degree. environment for like 8 hours in a very muddy terrain or something of that sort and they give us the current values we'll be able to simulate that in our system over here and instead of a customer having one or two choices we'll provide them with a varied choice case in terms of what cell from which manufacturer they could potentially use and which would give a better life in terms of life cycle performance and all of that and uh, uh, we are a completely full stack uh, battery company we develop our own battery management system and software communication tool so it's gone here and from here we are looking at bigger projects uh, anywhere from 20 30 kg payload drone to 150 kg manned uh, drones and military drones as well so you see the cells here what we do next is we kind of want to sort the cell in terms of voltage and ir for grading them which will help us in um, matching different ir to ensure that you know the cell and the voltage imbalances are less right so once uh, the grading is done we come on to assembly side so here uh, what we do is we put all the cells which are of the same voltage and ir together and we start uh, spot welding them together so then we start the cell assembly and what we do is we put similar uh, voltage and ir together in the form of series and parallel groups right depending on the specifications of uh, the requirement and uh, how we do it is again like i would say a little bit of our own uh, sauce that goes into it because different companies put it i mean assemble it in different ways or methods so how you do it is kind of a differentiating factor so once you finished spot welding your pack and putting it all together next thing you want to do is you want to connect a bms so it's called a battery management system and uh, what this does is basically primarily three functions it monitors your pack and ensures your pack is protected second it balances your pack and uh, ensures that you know there's no voltage imbalance in your thing 
and third is it will give out a lot of data in form of your voltage your current your temperature sensors and certain other more parameters so and uh, and this is very crucial because we don't want any kind of hazard that we see you know in the news with respect to battery fires or battery you know going up in flames so that that is what uh, takes care of the battery this this is our certified uh, drone battery range and this is the highest uh, model in the current range offering and this uh, powers drones that operate in the agriculture drone space military uh, cargo for heavy heavy payload drones and also in the surveillance and mapping drones the battery management system that we showcased has gone into this in order to you know ensure that there is safe operation of these batteries irrespective of what could happen on the external site and along with that we have also layered it with our software communication tool and which also has a black box feature in terms of knowing what could have happened in the very worst case a drone crashes so this is our biggest battery which is a 30ah uh, 6s or a 25 volt battery model we start anywhere from 5.6ah uh, which is the smallest uh, which powers uh, drones that are used for tunnel inspection by railways or other mining uh, you know companies uh, deep underground or anywhere else small tunnel dungy places and then it goes up to you know 9ah uh, powering slightly bigger drones for uh, surveillance purpose and then 16ah uh, uh, battery pack and then a 21ah currently our buck stops at 30ah but uh, uh, we are engineering uh, batteries for, you know, I would say listed companies that are operating uh, drones that would carry a human. Yes. So something like a 150 kg payload sort of a drone. So those would be huge, as big as a Maruti 800 car, I would say. So once the packs are assembled, I mean the complete assembly is done, we bring the packs here for individual pack testing to ensure that, you know, the pack is working as expected and it's kind of like a quality check and, a, you know, ticker on it. And uh, this machine here, the cell tester, what we are doing, uh, you know, on the background here is we are putting different cells of different manufacturers or of different capacities here. And we are running, uh, you know, a lot of cycles through them to understand how cell uh, reacts or how a cell performs for a various uh, load profiles or for, for, for various use cases. And eventually what will happen is we'll take that data to create uh, digital twin cell models out of them. This is majorly individual cells and that is battery packs. Yeah, this is pack testing and that's cell testing. And uh, interestingly, I'll just show you our software also. So. This software is again, uh, it comes paired with our battery management system and it helps to configure it. So you'll get an overview of all the different parameters of your pack and you can also enforce threshold of different values. You'll get different alarms if in, in so case anything. It's like uh, if uh, anything goes wrong. wrong. So then it's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, you get those alarms and then you'll be also be able to get the lifetime log off all the parameters in terms of maximum and minimum that would have occurred in the pack. Just to share one instance where you supplied to a customer and uh, it is among the drones, it's one of the first in India in terms of the title. It's called as a rooster drone. So it has been uh, supplied to the Indian Northern Command of Indian Army. So it'll take quite some time for them to test, uh, give a feedback. But good thing is that they've been continuously procuring the same set of batteries, so that's some hope for us. So, uh, I'm with people who like to make other people high, uh, but uh, not what you think. They also help people have like a broader perspective of life. Bhai so Amit and uh, what's your name? Mainam. Mainam. Listen, Mainam. I'm sorry. Like, tell me. Mainam. Mainam. So, what do you guys do? So, we engineer uh, battery systems for drones and robotics uh, predominantly. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're also developing uh, battery systems for electric commercial vehicles. Guys, they're making batteries for drones, and these drones are used at some of the coolest places I have heard. And the best was that uh, robotic dogs, have you heard about it? So Defense is also planning to switch to robotic dogs and uh, these two entrepreneurs will play a huge role in, in that. So, now you can talk to Abhin, you can phone with me, I'm telling you that. But apart from that, let's do like a fun segment. Um, so, you have deployed your drones at so many places, okay? Uh, in that one situation where your drone has been deployed and he has to guess, you can't speak. Okay. Just in that. Okay. It has to be one of the coolest ones, okay? So, we are going, okay? Okay. That would be an easy one. It's actually agriculture spraying drone. You know? okay, that's the easiest one. Yeah. Uh, that's a surveillance drone, man. <laughs> what is so, what drone does surveillance drone do? Like? So, surveillance drones help uh, in terms of uh, security aspects. Mm -hmm. So, let's say it could be used in uh, border regions by uh, entities like BSF or uh, the Indian Army. Or it could be even used in uh, private uh, petroleum fields to monitor wow. different things. Uh, the use cases are like varied, you know, it's not just one. It could be like threat towards humans or it could be a, uh, securing an area from, uh, uh, you know, intruders or it could be monitoring a situation where, you know, you don't want to see any fire. You, know, you can catch it on a thermal camera or you could do inspection in uh, solar uh, fields using a drone in terms of uh, the heat map that it will be generated. So the use cases are just endless. And he's going to act here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Amit, please stand okay. up. Okay. 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 <laughs> Do you want water? You're not finding water? <laughs> Is it for army? 
<laughs> it's not tough you okay drinking and drinking water you are searching panel fire fighting drones oh, okay fire fighting like this no. one more one more you lost it you lost it one more रजनीकांत <laughs> 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 So yeah, robotic dogs, robotic mules. Yes. Yeah. Those. And one more case which I found really interesting was that you were working like uh, with a motor company where they send the, their like uh, battery packs, and how can uh, that can be used to charge their own power stations? Like. Right? Yeah. So I mean, this was a collaboration with another startup wherein, um, like I said before, uh, there's a lot of things that could be done with a battery before it can be sent for recycling. Of course, it's not our main um, you know forte of business, but uh, this is something that we as startup do like to help other startups. Or it's mutual, you know. In startup world, we help each other out, right? So we were we had a battery system of an OEM over here for almost six months, and uh, apart from that, on the other motive, we as a startup could see what uh, OEM does. So which is a very uh, key factor in terms of designing uh, battery systems for large vehicular applications. And what is the current capacity that you can serve for drones? So for drones, it can go anywhere up to uh, starting uh, with 25 volts in terms of voltage, and let's say uh, 5 to 6 ah, and all the up. it goes up to like say 12s or 100 uh, 12s in terms of uh, it would it would be uh, something like uh, 45 volts to 50 volts and up to 100 volts and in terms of capacity it would go up to 50h as well. in terms of production capacity we could do about uh, depending on the range anywhere from about 250 to 500 battery units a month uh, with the new facility that's coming down this is specifically for drones uh, that number would totally fall flat if i were to tell it for bigger vehicles but uh, the current uh, plan is only for drones robotics and uh, can you fly him with a drone Yeah, probably. Now that we are working with the defense drone company, we they are looking to fly a payload of 150 kgs. I think he'll come close to that. So, yeah, 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 right. But you can be 150 kg more also, Gulas, yeah. and also Sarvas. But then that's very interesting, like you know, like because the battery has to be at power with the payload. If I'm understanding it the right way. Also, what I found very interesting that when you guys told about that uh, lithium uh, pouch yeah. and the battery that you are using, please explain that and can we have see that lithium? Yeah. This is a pouch cell. Uh, you know, a single cell of this is what you would find in your uh, mobile phone. But there are three of those in this. small battery pack so these are lithium po- polymer cells so there are about 5 to 6 prominent uh, chemistries within the lithium family that we use for different uh, use cases so whereas this is a lithium polymer we have uh, engineered our battery systems with uh, cylindrical cells right, and uh, well the technology has improved compared to when the initial drones were flying with lithium polymers and as compared to lithium polymer which is kind of notorious for the way it behaves and uh, you know performs lithium ions are more stable in terms of performance and we can along with the, how it is inherently built our battery management system also enables it to uh, Uh, you know for safe operations uh, on the on the field so it could undergo heavy uh, let's say abuse in terms of the temperature external temperature or the heat generated within for the current output uh, in spite of all that we can assure that it won't catch fire whereas with lithium polymers you could ask any drone company if they've had a mishap with uh, lithium polymer most likely they'll tell us yes. so that is one conscious decision and also uh, if you were to look at the industry uh, it's easier to source gr- a grade uh, or tier one cells of cylindrical uh, form factor as compared to polymer cells uh, whereas polymer cells uh, only a few companies hold monopoly in terms of manufacturing good polymer cells and uh, making into packs so as a startup we need to focus on all these different aspects in terms of sourcing also not just engineering a good product uh, a product is not good if i'm if i take a sample engineer it really well and if i'm not able to do it on a mass scale Yeah. So uh, you have the pouch cells which you'll be seeing a lot in the FPV and the uh, drone racing market. But for agriculture spraying, you need something which is more stable, something which is uh, packs in a lot of power in terms of uh, the energy density. So that way, we tend to use uh, we we go with lithium uh, chemistries in the form of NCA or NMC for uh, agriculture market or surveillance market or let's say in the defense market. Because all in all, it's more stable. It packs in more power in terms of energy density, and it can give you a lot more life cycle in terms of uh, how long you can use it for. So right now, the battery battery pack that you're holding will power drones anywhere from 15. to 30 kilos of payload and we are gearing up for engineering batteries uh, that will power drones that are in the 150 200 kg sort of payload this would be mostly hybrid but also some pure electric uh, drone application it could be a manned drone application it could be a payload application for defense or it could be uh, you know a high altitude uh, you know satellite or a pseudo drone sort of a thing application also so multiple sectors that we could cater to as a battery company that's focusing up primarily on drones and robotics
सो यू नो हम लोगों ने डॉग्स रोबोटिक डॉग्स की बात करी बट जैसे हमारा वैष्णो देवी का जो ट्रैक है वहाँ पर वी ऑफन कम अपथ दीज वीडियोज लाइक यू नो आर हॉर्सेज बींग एब्यूज सो कैन दिस टेक्नोलॉजी बी यूज देयर एज वेल Yes, actually, it's a very interesting question. Uh, you know, you have literally opened up a new debate wherein we can use the applications of what is primarily for uh, defense uh, could now come into civilian use. Uh, multiple stakeholders will have to come to play. Uh, startups that are in this space, uh, governments to initially back something like this because it's easier to operate a horse as compared to operating a robotic dog in terms of investment. Of course, we can definitely engineer batteries for that. Uh, there are companies which are also also already doing robotic mules, and uh, it's I think only a matter of time uh, if if this could become a reality. It's It's actually a very good opportunity in the hilly regions. We have uh, engineered it first and foremost predominantly to meet the uh, you know standards as issued by Bureau of Indian Standards. And uh, apart from that, what we have kept in mind is that uh, what was previously being widely used, we have tried to keep the footprint in terms of the design very similar. And in terms of weight, which is a very key factor in the drone segment, we have tried to keep the weight either at par or we have tried to reduce the weight, which is a good thing for drone uh, drone applications. And apart from that, a uh, lot of people would ask us, uh, are you competitive in terms of the pricing with the what the Chinese uh, players? Do. I can proudly tell that having made this pack apart from the cells and uh, the you know uh, semiconductor I mean uh, sorry ma'am the chips uh, everything else is of course engineered in India and we are in terms of pricing we are competing with the Chinese batteries uh, either at par or we can even go lower than the Chinese batteries so that is a huge win for Indian startups altogether as a you know as a consumer uh, for the drone companies and as a manufacturer for us so our Bharat ke climate startup has been energy ki batteries are powering drones and wo drones hamare agriculture mein mapping surveillance even on hilly areas where you know like to drop life saver drugs in tunnels mining even robotic dogs so their batteries are powering these drones so guys this was hasten energy from bangalore karnataka follow bharat climate startup for more such stories could you repeat that <laughs> <laughs> yeah and after that we shut them out <laughs> it goes and the drone flies yeah does it mostly in canada i think everybody yeah. thinks that he has a good sense of humor <laughs> Sure enough. Are we rolling? Yeah. Yeah. So. Let's. Yeah. Uh, well. Wait, let me ask that question yeah. and then. No. Yeah. Okay. He needs a mic. No. He has to add his commentary. <laughs> no, no. I don't want to add all that. Okay. So, actually, अपने में ठीक है. So, पांच साल बाद का क्या प्लान है? पांच साल तो बहुत हो गया. अभी शायद दो साल का कुछ. Are you inviting us? Where are you getting married? Oh, if it's a yes, we'll get views. If no, we are not getting views, guys. <laughs>